Greetings and welcome to Let's. Uh, it's not really a Let's Play. It's more like a Let's dwell for a bit of memories. My memories. I heard that in. Uh, da -da -da -da, that you can play for three days. Well, only one day left. <laughs> EverQuest for free. And I did play this game 10 years ago, and I didn't touch it for like 6 years. And I kind of wanted to take you with me to, well, a pretty huge part of my childhood. So, we have some of our characters, a strange little gnome called Leonara. Oh, that sounds familiar. This is my Bart. It's a cat. He's naked. I don't know why he's naked. He's actually wearing armor. I don't know why it's not showing. This is my main character, Muxy Siren Leaves. This is actually... yes, this is my... He was my first character. My first character was Orkrim. Ooh, Orkrim Doomhammer. Oh, 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 I was really... Uh, into it. <laughs> And this was my main char. I waited with him and it was really fun. I really, really loved this necromancer. And I was really good at playing him too. I killed like four or five monsters at the same time, kiting them around. And when I was grinding levels, I was as fast as a whole group of people. It was awesome. It was just this, this, this is stuff you don't really have in World of Warcraft, for example. In World of Warcraft, you don't have, you don't need skill. You don't just need. I don't know, equipment. What is that? Don't this is my first character, Orgrim. He's a Dwarven Warrior. I made this character with a friend of mine, Senegal. Yes, I didn't really know that Senegal was actually a place in Africa when I made this character. I just liked this name. This is another character I liked, my Ixar monk, Zorlark. Yes, you can see what characters I liked. Jason was really awesome. Mostly, I used to play um, solo characters. I don't know why. I'm not really a grouping person. Yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose of playing a uh, MMO, but <coughs> live with it. And my halfling ranger, Tessinax. But let's enter the world with Muxine and see what magic may really happen. Of course. And, uh, it's always telling me no response when I do something. You know, this is kind of strange, but I don't care. I, I'm not really going to play. I'm not going to be like, okay, no, let's quiet. Wah, let's quiet out. No, I just want to explore the world a bit and taking you with me to a land far, far away where I spent a lot of time. You know, getting to 65 solo wasn't really that easy. <laughs> it's not like in God of Warcraft, you can just wind up a character. At least it wasn't in the earlier days. I don't know if they changed something with the XP and stuff. But, um, yes. It wasn't really easy. You had to play a lot to gain levels and get gear and stuff. Welcome to EverQuest. Yes, I don't care. Whoa, uh, yes, I'll allow a queue voice service to have via network. Yeah, like I said, I haven't played this for six years, so I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. How do I walk? Ah, I walk like this. Ah, yes, haha. <laughs> Six years ago, I wasn't used to using VASD, so I moved with my uh, arrow keys. Um, alarm window. Do not show this window again. Skip. Voice bar. I don't care. Let's see. Mixine. I have my seven target. What, what's my inventory? Ooh, my inventory. I actually... Look at this. The circlet of shadows. Ah, it's still working. It's still working like it's supposed to work. Um, the Circlet of Shadows, a shadow, was nerfed. This thing, let's show him from Lich Muxin Siren Leaf. Ah, I'm so proud of 
jar. I could never delete a jar. I don't understand people who just delete jars like that. But um, this thing makes you invisible instantly. And uh, this must be my death piece. Yes. Bam! You can be. You can uh, feign death. No? So you look like that, and monsters are running away from you again. But if you're surrounded by monsters, you can actually stand up. Right? Wait. Yeah. Uh, a bit of walking. Like, stand up, and you must be standing cast a spell. Ah. They changed this somehow. What do you have to bring up your inspection window? Uh, stand. And I could be instantly invisible. They changed this uh, item to the circlet of shadows. No? With an S at the end. To having a cast time. But those people who actually acquired one before this could keep their goodie. So this is a really rare item. Yeah, it's, I'm really proud of that. What do I have in my inventory? I usually I have a human head in my inventory. This this, this is makes sense. <laughs> this is typical for me. Spell Kura's focusing. Oh boy. Where is my epic item? There it is. This piece of the shadowed soul. It took me months to get this item. Literally months. Months to get this item. <laughs> There's no monster in this game that looks like that. But it's a very nice item because it casts a uh, snare spell unlimited amount of times. How can I? Ah. Torment of Shadows. Required level 50. Spell effect. Oh, that's new. I can't remember that showing it like this. But yeah, that's that stuff like this. I was in a pretty good raiding guild. We raided mostly German time. <coughs> which made us pretty good on an English playing server because when we were raiding everyone else was fast asleep. And yeah. So, let's see. Where the fuck do I go? Let me close this window. Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea where to go. It's a map. There was a map. Ooh! To Plane of Knowledge. No, I kind of want to go to the teleporter, the Red Dragon Hall. What the fuck? Let's go to the Nexus, because I want to go to the uh, near Freeport. Or the Night Elf City. Uh, oh, what was the Night Elf City? Called. I want to remember this before I go there. Entering the Nexus. The Night Elf City was called... Uh, Neriak. Neriak, yes, Neriak. Awesome city. Really love it there. So, Kunak Skier. No, we won't go to Kunak yet. The map system came pretty late. Levin. Hello, Levin. How are you doing? Mm. Where is the Vilius Odos Fate were Antonica Skion over there? Yeah, the map system was introduced pretty late. We didn't have uh, we didn't have teleporters. When you wanted to go from the east to the west side of the continent, you just had you had to travel. Antonica Skion. Okay. Um, I think you have to wait. Let's click on this hail. Hail Antonica Skion. Yeah, he's not talking to me. Oh, yes, because I'm invisible. Haha. <laughs> yeah, he cannot talk to me. Um. Well, Stalwar, Talisman of the Boar, Focus of the Seven, Talisman of Daiko. What the fuck do I have there? Guess are shadows. We move this buff. Hail Antonica Skion. Greetings, Muxin. I am Horenda Tevalian. I was one of the first to travel to Lucklin when the secrets of the teleporters was unlocked. Once here, the midst collective asked that I maintain which of the portal back to Karenas. The teleporters to back to Noah's is completely automated. I have no direct control over the portal when turn on. Although I can say the system works on a schedule of approximately 15 minutes. Yes, which can happen if I now have to wait here 15 minutes. So, let us spells. Yeah, that are my spells. Funeral Pyre of Kalador. I remember when I got the spell. 
this is a, another wear spell you get from raiding. It's yes, incinerates the blood of your target, causing 300 damage every six seconds for eight, 48 seconds. Oh, I was the king of the hill with this gate. Oh, where am I bound? Opens a magical portal that returns you to your bind point. I'm kind of scared because I have no idea where I'm bound. Wasn't there a bind? There's no word I could recommend. Please use help. Uh, help. Wait, I'm still in my guild? No, of course not. Uh, help. Normal. Uh, group worlds, mercuses, decay corpse. There was something that told me where I am bound. Something like cloud is way too much. Uh, player info. Plate. Oh. Total time playing mixing 238 days, 22 hours and 35 minutes. <laughs> Considering I played this game for about 6 years, you can actually imagine how much I played this character. <laughs> this session 16 minutes 47 seconds. Let me check if it's recording properly. Be right back.